Here are five effects that you can quickly use to take your logo animations to the next level using After Effects. You can use all five of these effects together or you can just use one of them to create an awesome logo animation. So if you're ready, let's jump in and let's get started. All right, the first effect we're gonna go through is being able to turn your logo into a stroke animation by using one effect. So we have our logo here in After Effects. You're gonna want to quickly make sure that your logo is set to white by using the fill effect. Then you go to generate and you grab Vegas and unfortunately it's not Las Vegas. You go here to rendering, you set the blend mode to transparent. So now we can see the stroke version of our logo. And here's the settings I suggest using. Set the segments to one, change your color to any color that you want. I'll set mine to white. The width to five, hardness to one, and the end opacity to one as well. And to animate this, we'll come here to two seconds, add a keyframe for length, move to the beginning of our timeline, set the length to zero. Now we'll have this beautiful stroke animation of our logo. And if you want, you can quickly duplicate your logo delete the Vegas effect, and then fade up your original logo. So then it'll animate on, and there's the original logo. And you can even use this effect to create a 3D stroke version of your logo. I'll link that tutorial in the description below. Our next effect is gonna allow you to easily texturize your logo. Go ahead and download yourself a texture image laying around the internet, and then grab your logo layer and go to Effect, Stylize, and grab Texturize. Set your texture layer to your texture image. And to make this more noticeable, you can increase the texture contrast and change the light direction. A quick complement to this effect is to go to Effect, Generate, and grab Gradient Ramp. Place the Gradient Ramp above the Texturize effect. And that's how you can use one simple effect to add texture to your logo. Our next effect is all about making your logo stand out with light reflections. So if your logo is selected, you go to Effect, Generate, and you grab CC Light Sweep. The effect will have an anchor point that you can move around to move this beam of light. I suggest moving it off your logo and then adding a keyframe for center, move forward in time by a few seconds, and then grab that anchor point and move it to the other side off your logo. So now you'll have this moving beam of light. And experiment with the other parameters to make it more intense or a little bit less intrusive. And a quick tip, you can take this effect, you can duplicate it, and then just hit U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes, then offset your keyframes in your timeline. And by doing this, you can loop your light reflections. As another complement effect, we can go to Effect Perspective and add a Bevel Alpha. And this will make the edges of that shine stand out even more. So you may know the Shatter Effects allows you to blow up pretty much anything, but did you know that you can use it to turn your logo into a 3D logo animation? So here's how it works. If you have any effects applied to your logo, I highly suggest going to Layer, Pre-Compose, and completely pre-comping that. And then go ahead and apply the Shatter Effect. Here are the settings you need to know about. Go ahead and set the view to rendered, go to force one, and set the radius to zero. So now you should be able to see your logo. Then go to shape and set your pattern to custom. Set your custom shatter map to your logo layer. And you can animate your logo in 3D space. However, it looks like garbage. So I'll just animate the Y rotation real fast by one X. So now we can see what we're doing. We'll go to textures. We'll set the front, side, and back mode to our logo layer and set side mode to color. We can also go back to extrusion depth and set it to one, so make the logo thicker. And you come here to color and you can change this to any color that you want. And that's how you can give your logo a 3D animation. The last great effect we're gonna go through here is all about making your logo pop so it can truly stand out and be visually pleasing. And this effect is no other than the glow effect under the stylize menu. So how I use this effect is to instantly increase the glow radius up to let's say 100, and this will help distribute the glow effect, but you may need to lower the intensity. So go ahead and do that if you need to do it. And then we take the effect and we duplicate it and then increase the glow radius by four to five times the original amount that we had entered. And that adds like a nice level of shine and cinematic diffusion to our logo. And moving forward, we can actually make our stroke animation stand out even further with this effect as well. So we can actually copy these two glow effects and paste it to our stroke. And depending on what you apply this to, you may need to increase the glow intensity to make it stand out even more. And then you come here to your Vegas color and you can change this to any color that you want to make this stand out like this way. And another complement effect we can apply to this is go to blur and sharpen and add a CC radial fast blur. And we can set the amount down to say 25. And to make this stand out even further, we can add a quick flicker effect to this by going to say our glow radius, alt clicking the stopwatch and typing wiggle open parenthesis two comma 100. So now you can use all these logo effects together or individually to create an awesome logo animation here in After Effects. And if you're on a time crunch, you can use assets from our Motion Duck extension to quickly add extra design to your logo animations with one click in After Effects. We also have a template pack of 100 cinematic logo animations in which you can swap in your logo and text all within under a minute. You can check out our free pack and everything that we have with the links in the description below and always be creative.